Today I'm going to walk you through a demo of the Bubbles on Bottle experiment that is part of our Weather Wow Up in the Air virtual field trip, as well as the activity on our Modeling the Behavior of Air with Bottles on the UCAR Center for Science Education website. We invite you to do this experiment at home, in a classroom, with any group uh, to explore the effect that temperature has on our air. So we're going to hop over to our experiment now so you can see what you need to do it. You basically need need two bins or containers containing a few inches of water. One container should have hot water. This is uh, freshly heated up in an electric kettle. You can do a microwave, hot water dispenser, whatever you have at your disposal, but nice fresh hot water. And over here we have cold water. It's great if you still have the ice cubes in there. Um, you want a big temperature differential here. The other piece that you need is a bottle. And the best bottles uh, could be soda bottles, juice bottles, uh, any bottle that you have at your disposal. Ideally, if it's clear, that'll allow you to see what's happening on the inside. And you want it to be able to fit into your containers of hot and cold water. And you want the opening to fit into the last ingredient of our experiment, which is dish soap. So this just some average run-of-the-mill dish soap you can find in your kitchen that has been diluted a little bit. So diluted dish soap. And we've also seen some groups have success with this using a juice bottle in a plastic cup with some hot and cold water. Um, again, we have hot water, um, so make sure that you have some grown-up supervision if you have younger students doing this. So our bottle to do the experiment, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our bottle into our dish soap so that we have a nice film covering it. And then we are going to take that bottle, put it in our hot water, and you're gonna see, oops, and if it pops, that's okay. Just start it over again. So you should see a bubble form on the top come up and then we switch it over as part of the experiment down into the cold water and our bubble goes away. Um, it is not popped, it is still in here. It is actually fallen down here and if you have colder water that will speed up the process of it moving downwards and also go down further. Um, so I recommend having some ice cubes in your water. But you can even, if your film is still there, if your bubble's in the bottle, you can move it back to the hot water and watch your bubble reform. So that is the basics of the Bubbles on Bottle experiment. We hope that you have fun exploring and experimenting with it. If you want a full step-by-step -step guide with inquiry questions and steps to walk through with a group, you can check out the guide on our website at the UCAR Center for Science Education. You can also book a free virtual field trip live with one of our educators. Uh, look for Weather Wow Up in the Air virtual field trip on our website as well for that. But in the meantime, keep exploring and have fun.